you know, it was pretty quick. He was fine. In fact, he just run a play, was walking back. So, you know, like I said, sometimes these things, there's no precursors to it. There's no explanation for it. It just happens. He, he's a young man. He'll recover. Uh, we'll, we'll be just fine. Uh, if he's if he's there, we're great. If he's not, we're good. we'll be just fine as otherwise. But you're not eliminating him from Potentially playing in the Alabama. No, I think no. I, and, and in fact, you know, I, I think I think the best case scenario is Alabama, and I think what you got to do is just allow uh, the healing process and, and the rehab to take place, and we'll evaluate it as he gets closer. How is he sort of handling our experience? Roy's great. Roy's great. He's he's out there helping. He's in meetings helping. Uh, he's great. You know, like I said, the expectations are for the position, and, and, and when you're in Roy's position, you're expected to help. He's switching to that flanker spot. Does this affect at all, that move? No, not really. What kind of handle things? does he have on that position so far? Wonderful. Wonderful. Roy's, Roy's an extremely intelligent, football intelligent. Uh, he'll be just fine. Beyond those guys that have played a ton, Roundtree and Gallon, has there been one or two that have really stood out just in the time that you've had the fall? I don't know if you can tell that yet. You know, we really haven't had a major scrimmage. We really haven't had anything where there's been the amount of pressure put on the kids where you really find out, okay, uh, he can do it under the gun. And, and uh, so, you know, we've only had him for a short period of time. You know, let's let's let them play and uh, let's let them kind of progress at their own uh, at their own rate. How do you fit Devin into what you're doing and getting some snaps in practice? I was wondering how long. I'm surprised that wasn't the first one. Uh, you know, I, I think I think ultimately it's what's best for the team, and I think whatever Coach Borges and, and Coach Hope decide is is what's going to happen. And, and I think we need to just allow this to kind of take place as it goes. Uh, you know, I think Devin will do whatever's best for the team, and, and uh, you know, I, I think Coach Borges and Coach Hope have to sit down and say, okay, this is what we're going to do, and that hasn't taken place yet because we're still trying to figure out. You know, we're only six practices in, maybe I think. So we still got a lot of time. Could you speak to a couple of attributes that you've seen out of him that could potentially help you with down the road at some point? He's a hard-working kid. He's a team kid. Uh, he, he's a Michigan kid. And, and so from that standpoint, you know, I think he'll help us at either position, and I think we're fine whichever way it goes. But like I said, that's really something for Coach Borges and Coach Hope. You know, if he's with me, great. If not, then, then he's going to help us in the quarterback position. What does he have to he's making that position change? What does he what, have to do? Everybody left after the Devin question? <laughs> <laughs> um, what, is, uh, what does he have to work on to get up, you know, up to speed at that new position? Oh, I, you know, I, he knows the offense. Yeah. And, and so it's just going to be getting him out there and doing footwork stuff. But, you know, he's a hard-working kid, so everything's going to be just fine. I'm not worried about that. What have you seen from the true freshmen so far? I think they're good kids. I think they're hard-working kids. You know, we haven't had them a whole lot because of class. Uh, you know, they're still finishing up, and the most important thing is academics, and we've got to get that taken care of. So, you know, I, I think as class ends and we get them more involved uh, on, on the everyday part of fall camp and going through it, uh, you know, I think we'll find out more. But right now, we know they're great kids, and they're willing, and, and they work hard. Rauchy was particularly uh, praising uh, Darbo. What have you seen from him early on that's, that's stood up to you? know, I don't... I don't I don't think there's any one thing that you can say about any of the freshmen yet. We haven't had them yet. You know, I, I think they came in and, and really blended in well during the summertime. And, uh, and, I, and I, I speak to all of them because they all did a good job of playing. And, uh, and, and really kind of assimilated themselves into the team and being a part of the team. And, uh, you know, from here, once we once once summer school ends here in the next couple of days, I think we'll get a better feel by Saturday, Sunday, and have a better idea. But until then, you know, we know they're willing, and we know they work hard, and we know they're doing everything that they're asked to do.